My name is Maddie. Welcome to 3x3x3. Three three three. Um, it's going to be a little bit of an express version, so we're just going to be doing a 45-minute class today instead of the usual hour that I do for this class. Um, but the format will stay the same. Essentially, we have three big blocks of work. That's the first three. Um, within each of those big blocks of work, we'll be doing um, a section of upper body, a section of lower body, a section of core. Um, we'll do that Obviously, that's the second three right there, and then we'll do that three times for the third three. Um, in between each big block of work, what we'll be doing um, is a little bit of cardio. So we get all of our muscle groups worked today, um, as well as our cardiovascular system involved. All right, so I'm going to read our waiver. In order to make these classes as freely accessible to our participants, we'll be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of the class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury, and by participating, you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you have moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or a class that involves lying on the ground, um, we recommend using a mat or, if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical attention or care as needed. William & Mary Health & Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical examination and follow the advice of your healthcare provider before participating. All right, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up. Um, what I've been doing during our kind of COVID classes is something called the world's greatest stretch just because it gets all of our muscles nice and warm. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. So what we're going to be doing is beginning at the, at the end of our mat, all right, maybe with a nice uh, set stance, feet a little bit wider than our hips. We're going to squat down, place our hands on the mat, and walk it out into a nice high plank. All right, from here what we're going to do is bring one of our legs, it doesn't matter which one, up in between our hands, and so our hands are straddling our foot, and I'm going to turn towards you guys so y'all can see me. So from here what we're going to do is grab the hand that's not the foot that's forward, and, oh sorry, both of our hands should be on the inside of our foot, might be. Um, we're going to take our fist of that hand, connect it directly about the elbow, and from here we're going to try and dip down through our hip flexors and tap that elbow to the ground if you can. All right, and from here we're going to do five reps. We're going to do five reps of each of these moves. All right, two more for me here. Feel that nice hip flexor opener. Awesome. And from here what we're going to do is we, <clears throat> excuse me, are going to tip our hand, thread that needle through. Um, you know what, I'm doing this on the wrong side. So sorry guys, should have been on this other side. So we're gonna thread that hand underneath and then open up towards that leg. Thought something felt weird. All right, so basically a nice big back opener through that lumbar spine, through that thoracic spine, just threading the needle and opening up through those shoulders as well. Last one here. All right, guys, and from here, let's straddle those hands around that foot, and we're going to rock between a nice hip flexor stretch like we're in and a hamstring stretch. So letting that toe pop up to the ceiling, straightening out that front foot, maybe bending that back one and rocking between them for five reps. Keep a nice flat back on this hamstring stretch. One more here for me. All right, and from here, let's stay in a nice low lunge. Lift up your chest and bring your hands up in front of you in a prayer. And from here, we're gonna be doing some lunge pulses. So one inch up, one inch down. As we go down, we connect our hands, our palms together, and press, engaging our lats, engaging our chest to warm up our upper body a little bit as well. And as we go up, we release. Five, four, feeling those quads here. Ooh, three, two, and last one, come on up. We're gonna cartwheel our hands around that foot, bring that forward foot to meet the one that's back, come back into that nice high plank, and then we're just gonna inchworm our hands back up to the top. And that's one side, hopefully. Both of your legs are feeling a little bit warmer, as well as your upper body. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead, bring those hands down to the mat, walk them out to a nice high plank, and bring the other foot on the side of your hands. So now what we're going to do, you guys, is take the arm of the foot that is forward, make that fist again, connect it directly above that elbow, and tip down to the ground. So again, feeling it in that hip, getting into those inner thighs, which we're going to work a little bit today, just for five reps. It's the last one here. And we're going to thread that needle one more time. So bringing that hand directly under the arm that's on the ground, and then opening up 
towards that knee. Really important to open up and get that back nice and warm. We want to protect it today, every move we do. All right, guys, two more here. Get into your five reps. And again, we're going to bring both hands to straddle that foot. We're just going to be rocking between that hip flexor stretch and then letting that toe come off the ground. Straighten out that front foot for a nice hamstring stretch. So we're kind of doing some static stretching mixed with a little bit of dynamics here as we move around. You always want to make sure we're doing dynamic warm-ups in the beginning of class and static at the end. All right, last one here, guys. And again, when you're ready, go ahead and lift that chest up. Connect those hands out in front of you into that prayer. Then we go one inch down as we press in the top and one inch up as we release. Pressing, really engaging through those lats, that's those back muscles. Engaging through those biceps, triceps, that chest as well. We're going to be working our back and our chest today. Last one here. Awesome job. Let's go ahead, cartwheel those hands back down. Bring that forward foot to meet the back one. Coming into that nice high plank. And we'll just rock it right back up. And stand it on up tall. Awesome, guys. So what we're going to be doing next is beginning our first big block of work. I'm going to get my timer ready. And then I will demonstrate and we'll get going. All right. So the first time that we're going to for the first circuit that we're going to be doing is going to be chest, um, uh, our hamstrings and glutes, and then kind of our lower abdominal muscles. So right now, go ahead and grab those cans or those weights. I'm using tomatoes today. What we're going to be doing is setting our stance with our feet a little bit wider than our hips or about hip distance apart. We're going to make our back into a nice 45 degree angle. We're gonna let our hands come down and we're gonna be doing some nice chest flies. So opening up to the side, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then bringing them right back down. Controlling on the way up and controlling on the way down. All right, then we're gonna come down to our mat, laying on our tummies. And we can have our hands either out in front of us, up, up at the top or right by our sides. And one at a time, we're going to lift our leg and then lower, nice. Slow and controlled, squeezing that glute, squeezing that hamstring. And that's our second move. And then our core move for today is going to do be some leg scissors with crunches. All right. So what we're going to be doing is laying on our backs. Hands can be down by our sides. Our lower back is pressed into the mat. We bring our legs up so that our feet are over our hips. And we're just going to open, open, and then cross and close, open, Cross and close. You can stay here, or as we close, we can lift up with a nice big crunch. That's an option there, and I can explore more options when we get there. But for now, go ahead and grab those cans or those weights. Get your set stance, and I'm going to begin our timer. So we're going to be doing 45 seconds of each of these moves, a little break, and then we'll do it again three times through. All right, ready, set, go. Oh my gosh, you know what? Keep going. Forgot to send the Spotify playlist. If y'all would like to do that, take a little break and get that there. You absolutely can. That's my bad. Keep it up, keep it up. There's that. All right, guys. So, making sure those knees have a nice bend in them. If you need to take it down a little bit, you can also bend those arms a little bit more. The closer you keep those cans or those weights to your body, Going to be a little less challenging and if you want to challenge yourself you can straighten those arms out making sure we're keeping our shoulders nice and neutral two one last one here great job all right let's come on to the mat on our bellies experiment with where you'd like to keep your hands the ready set go so one at a time we lift our leg lower lift and lower really important let's keep our hips square so we're not rocking to one side as we lift the other we're using the glute, also stabilizing to that back, bracing that core. And I want you to think about your gaze, maybe about six inches in front of you, all right? You can maybe even keep that face on the floor if that feels good. But nice neutral neck, not trying to strain our necks today. And again, if you have your hands down by your sides, maybe you try it up here just to see how it feels. Squeezing through those glutes, giving a nice big squeeze at the top, 
before we release. Two, one, awesome. All right, let's go ahead and flip over onto our backs. So feet are up over our hips. We're gonna open and close and crunch. You can have your fingertips to temple. You can also have your fingertips down on the ground, kind of reaching past your butt. If this is too much, we can also just lift up off the ground and do the same thing. If it's not enough, we can lower our legs to a 45 degree or even lower if you'd like. But the main thing that I want us to think about where our lower back is, making sure it's pressed into the mat so we're protecting our spine. And that's how we're also gonna work that lower core. We're almost there, two, one. Oh, amazing. I've got a little rest. We're going back up to the top, all right? So grab those weights again. In five seconds, set that stance for me. Maybe on this round, we experiment a little bit with maybe lengthening those arms. Maybe bending a little bit farther down, making sure that our bodies and our backs are nice and flat, nice and straight. About a 45 degree angle over the ground. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. I like to imagine if you had a pencil or $100 bill between those shoulder blades, it would not drop. We'd be able to feel it, squeeze it between them. Amazing. And again, if we need a little bit of a regression, we can bend those arms just a touch. We're just bringing those cans up to shoulder height, not any, not any taller or higher. All right, guys, that's our last one. Meet me back on our stomachs on the ground. Again, with either your hands by your sides or in front. All right, ready, set, go. We're lifting and lowering, squeezing, keeping those, those hips nice and parallel to the mat. Press into the mat. <clears throat> Sometimes I talk about headlights, right? If you have headlights on your hips, they should both be nice big circles on the mat. The same thing is true here. You just might not be able to see them. <laughs> we wanna make sure we're not using our momentum to power this move. Instead, we're using those big, strong glutes, big, strong hamstrings. Bracing through that core as we do this to protect our lower back. Because yes, even in this move, we gotta protect our lower back. Remember to breathe. Last one here, awesome. Let's flip it on over for that core move. Again, maybe for this core move, you try a couple of those options, seeing where you like to keep your feet. Maybe if that crunch was too much, just keeping it up like this, keeping those shoulder blades up off the mat. Remembering to breathe here as well. Any time that we're doing something that kind of challenges the muscles that are involved with us breathing, like our abdominal muscles, we often forget to breathe. So make sure that we are still breathing. Maybe try just destabilize those muscles just a little bit more by opening up those legs a little bit more. And again, if you'd like, we're crunching as we bring those legs together. Just bringing those shoulder blades up off the mat Squeezing to that core, two, last one. Ooh, take a little breather. You need to stretch it long. We're coming to our last set. This is the last time through with each of these moves, so really make them count. Whether that means that we pick up the pace a little bit, while still keeping control. We really focus on squeezing those muscles. Lots of options, ready, set, go. Lots of options to really challenge yourself. For me, I'm really gonna focus on that squeeze in my shoulder blades really squeezing, making sure that each and every rep, I'm working just as hard on the way down as I am on the way up. But if you are choosing the option to go a little bit faster, I still want us to be focused on being slow and in control. All right, really, really important that in this class, we are feeling every single muscle that is working. Whew, shoulders popping a little bit. All right, guys, five seconds, keep it up. Can we get two more reps in? Great job. All right, let's meet on the mat. Last time through this as well. Maybe to challenge yourself, you can hold it a little bit higher. 
hold it a little bit longer. Lots of ways to challenge ourselves here. But still, every single time we're squeezing and contracting through that glute, nice big meaty part of our glute. Maybe lifting a little bit higher and keeping that gaze nice and neutral. For me, I would like to make sure that you guys can hear me. So if my gaze is to the side, that's why. All right, but guys, we are halfway. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathing through this, bracing that core. And again, maybe you try to bring those hands by your sides if you like that better. Just experimenting with the different options. One more. Very good. All right, flip it over onto our back. This is a really difficult move. I know it. You guys can hear it in my voice when I'm talking and doing it. So let's make this one count. Take the option that's really going to challenge you today. Squeeze into that core with each lift. We're looking in between those legs. That's where our gaze is. So inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Take a little stretch if you need it. And maybe you need a little break. You just hold for a sec, and then you can hop right back into it. Two, one. Great job, guys. That was our first big block of work. We've got a cardio move, which is going to be some cross body jacks. So instead of jacking up here, we're gonna jack in front of us, just like this. If you'd like to, you can also jack overhead. That's totally fine. But this, I like a little bit better, just because it really gets that heart rate up. We don't wanna jump today. We can also just be tapping, just like this. Or if you'd like, of course, just that regular jack. But this is our first block of cardio getting our lungs and our hearts ready for the rest of the workout. We got 15 seconds left, guys. Nice and light on those feet, using the ground as a springboard. Bending through those knees, using them as shock absorbers. Oh my gosh, great job, guys. We work all the way through zero, and that's exactly what you guys just did. Amazing job. All right, let's go ahead for our second um, second circuit, we're going to be working our back, we're going to be working our quads, and then we also are going to be working our obliques and our stabilizer muscles, okay? So, for this upper body move, we're going to be on our stomachs, just like we were for that lower body move last time, all right? So, we're going to be doing something called a cobra. For this one, we want our hands past our hips, we want our feet on the ground, what we're going to do is rather than lifting our legs, we're going to lift up our upper body just like this. All right. And we're going to lift those hands up off the mat as well. Again, gaze nice and neutral, squeezing to those upper body, squeezing to that back. Um, all right, you guys, that is our back move. Then for our quad move, this one is a little bit of a doozy, but only 45 seconds on each side total. Um, so I know you guys can do it. We're going to start in a lunge. All right, so with one of your legs forward, it really doesn't matter at this point. We'll do a 45 seconds on one side, 45 on the other, and then half and half the last time. All right, so what we're gonna do, nice long lunge, we're gonna dip down where our knee touches. We're gonna come up halfway, knee touch, and then all the way up. It's called a basement lunge. All right, so knee touch, up, knee touch, all the way up. That knee touch needs to be very, very light. I don't wanna slam our knees into the ground. All right, and then for our cardio, or sorry, excuse me, for our core, we're gonna be doing a low side to side plank. All right, so we're gonna to come to the ground in our plank with our hands kind of crossed in front of us like this. All right, just wanna make sure you guys can see that. What we're gonna do is basically rotate to one side, come down to the ground, and rotate to the other side, kind of switching between a, um, a regular hover, regular plank, and then your side planks and your side planks, working through the oblique, making sure that butt stays a nice even level. Alrighty, so I'm going to begin our timer. We're starting with those cobras, so meet me on the ground, on your stomachs, and we'll get started. Ready, set, go. Alright guys, so that gaze is super important right here. All we're doing is lifting, squeezing, 
and then lowering. We're making sure that we're breathing through this move. That's halfway, keep it up here. But we're also making sure that we're doing is squeezing through those shoulder blades, just like we did with that chest move, kind of a combination chest move and chest, or sorry, chest and back move that we did with those flies. All right, guys, great job. Let's move to our lunges. So again, pick one of those legs to put forward. This one is going to be a doozy. You're gonna feel it in that front quad. So here we go, lowering down, halfway, down, and up. So if one suggestion is that if you start to feel it kind of more in this hip flexor, I want you to lean forward just a touch, almost like your nose is kind of leaning over a cliff, all right? I prefer, at least personally, to feel my lunges a little bit more in the front glute and in the front quad. And if that's the same for you, and that's a good way to make sure that that happens. We're having a party in the basement over here, guys. Basement lunges. Five seconds. We are almost there. Two, one. All right, remember which leg was forward. And let's get into that core move. So coming down to the mat, into that plank. One thing you can do to take an option here, so you can just be on those knees, rotating and down to the knees and then rotating open. Or we can come up to those toes. Keeping that core nice and braced. Also working those shoulders just a little bit. Again, trying to keep that butt in a nice line. It's not coming up as we're, as we're swiveling around. We're bracing that core, using those obliques as we keep our hips up off the ground. Almost there, guys. Three, two, one. Beautiful job. All right. And we're already on the mat for our cobra move. So if you need water, though, go ahead and grab it. We've got five seconds. So hands past your hips. We lift, squeezing those shoulder blades, squeezing the whole back of the body. So that means those glutes as well, those hamstrings that we worked before. And again, bracing through that core to protect that lower back as usual. I'm like a broken record when I say that. So we're really letting those back muscles drive this move, pressing those feet flat into the ground. Last one there. Awesome, guys. All right, so now let's put that other foot forward. <laughs> Making sure we're nice and even for this quad move. Nice long lunge. We dip down, halfway, down, and up. Down, halfway, down, and up. And those hands can be anywhere that's comfortable for me. That's my hips, at least for this moment. Sometimes it's not. And again, if we're feeling it a little bit too much in that back hip flexor, what we want to do is just lean forward just a touch putting more of that weight in that front quad. Nice, slow, and controlled is the name of this game, guys. All right, just 10 seconds, we got this. Lots of work for this quad. Ooh, two, one, great job. All right, so now for those low side to side planks, Coming into that plank. Again, if you'd like to take it on your knees, that is a-okay. Or rotating, we just leave one knee on the ground and lift that other one up and then come right back into that nice low plank on your knees. If you would like, otherwise we're on our toes, just opening, making sure we're holding, maybe for one or two seconds before we rotate back, making sure, as usual, that we are slow and 
controlled. What I'm doing is just letting my gaze follow my hand, really tricking my balance a little bit, making myself work a little bit harder. Three, two, one. Great job, guys. All right, last time through this round. Again, this is the last time that you're gonna see these moves. So find a way to really make them count. Think about how you can do that right now. Let's get set up for our Cobra. Ready, set, go. I'm finding it really easy to hold my breath here, so really make sure that we're breathing. It's usually a good sign is when I'm having trouble with it, to remind you guys too as well. Thinking about that neutral neck. It's not dipping too far down, right? Just a nice six inch gaze. Lifting those hands up, pressing the tops of those feet into the ground. Feeling a little bit of activation in that lower back as well, which is great to protect that spine. All right, last one there, guys. Good job. So let's go ahead, come into that quad. Pick which leg you'd like to start with. We're gonna do half and half here. So for me, my left leg is gonna be forward. Ready, set, go. Halfway. We've gotta make these count because we've only got about 20-ish seconds, a little more than that, but 23-ish seconds to make these count on each leg. Again, down, halfway up, down, all the way up. Swap it up, guys. Down, halfway up, down, and up. Make sure that we've got a nice set stance. Our feet are wide enough. We're on railroad tracks, not on a tight rope. That knee is not pressing past that toe. One, and done. All right, guys, last time through these low side-to-side -side planks. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys. If you've been on your knees for this time, I challenge you to try to bring it up to those toes. Squeeze into that core. We are really working those transverse abdominal muscles, which wrap around our entire midsection, protect our spine, protect our organs. It's really, really important that they're nice and strong and really that they're being activated during this move. Keep it up, guys. Five seconds left. See if we can get one more each side, maybe. I'm gonna do it. Great job. All right, core move, guys. We're gonna stay on the ground. We've got some plank hopovers. So, go to a plank, hopping over our mat, or hopping over an imaginary kind of line. We've got one. Trying to keep that butt out of the sky, keeping those hands directly under our shoulders. This one is gonna gas you guys. Breathing through this as well. If that butt comes into the ground, or that, the air, a little bit, that's totally fine. Taking breathers as you need them. Feel that sweat dripping off our faces. Woo. If you want to just be tapping, that's okay too. Put in a little breather. Come right back into it. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo. I feel like a bunny. <laughs> Amazing job, guys. All right. Good news. We are on our last big block of work. And that is awesome. So what we're gonna do now is work our shoulders, our inner thighs, and then a little bit of shoulders and core as well, all right? So for our shoulder move, a little funky that I found online that I thought was fun. We're gonna pretend we're gonna do something called a rope twist, all right? So on one arm, we're gonna be twisting, reaching out. On one arm, we're gonna be twisting to the back. And on the other arm, we're gonna be twisting to the front at the same time, and then we'll swap. So kind of a little bit of a, almost like a dancey move, but I want you to pretend like you're holding your rope, twist one way with one arm and the other arm, the other way with the other arm. Really just working those shoulder muscles, working. Um, a little bit of those biceps and triceps as well. 
All right, for our lower body, we're gonna be doing a plie squat. It's a little different than a regular squat, because for this one, we bring our toes a little bit um, wider than our hips, a little wider than our usual squat position, and our toes kind of go out to the corners on the diagonal. And from here, we turn to the side. We're gonna pretend like we're in between two panes of glass, and rather than our butt coming out like a normal squat, our butt is just gonna go and slide right down that wall. All right? We're feeling us a little bit more on our inner thighs rather than on our quads. So that's the move that also we're gonna be working. And I'll cue a little bit more for that when we get there. Um, and then for our core, we're gonna be doing another plank, hurrah, um, an extension plank. All right, so for this, we're gonna start just in our regular plank up on our hands. And slowly and surely, we're gonna walk our feet out until we come to a position that you can't go any further. And then we're gonna walk it right back in. All right, so this is really gonna depend on how you're feeling today, but I want you to feel that good engagement, maybe a little bit of shake as we come all the way out. And then once you reach that point, walk it right back in. All right, you guys? So let's begin with those double arm rope twists. Ready, set, go. So our feet a little bit wider than our hips. We're about hip distance apart, and we're just gonna rotate and rotate. But once you get that first one, hopefully doing the rest of them should be okay. A little bit of a break, we teaser, teaser, teaser as well. All right, guys. So just making sure that our hands aren't taller than our shoulders, and they're not lower than our shoulders either. If you feel yourself drooping, give yourself a little shoulder roll, come back into it. Again, might take a little bit of brain power to get back into that rhythm, but that's okay. Brace into that core. Making sure our pelvis, pelvis is tucked. Two, one. Great job, guys. All right. So it's plie squats. All right. Let's get into a nice stance, a little bit wider. I'm realizing it's super dark. My video, so sorry. All right. And all we're doing is squatting, keeping that butt like we're sliding down a wall. A little bit different feeling than a regular squat. So if you've never done one of these before, gonna feel a little bit weird, all right? But I want you to squeeze through those inner thighs. Use those inner thighs to drive you up. If you've got a mirror, you wanna turn your video on to check yourself out, make sure you're doing this correctly. You absolutely can. Making sure that butt is staying about level the whole time, right? So we stay nice and tall, just like a squat, but we're sliding down a wall. 10 seconds, guys. Amazing job. Three, two, one. All right, let's do these plank extensions. So again, I don't really have a set period where you've gone far enough. I want you guys to feel it. Feel how it feels in your body. When you start to feel that shape, it's time to walk back. Ooh, there it is for me, and I'm walking it all the way back. And a good point of reference is when your shoulders are directly over those hands, we're in that set to stance set plank position again, and we can start to walk it right back. So we're gonna feel this in our transverse abdominis, just like we worked in the last move, and also a little bit in those shoulder heads as well, which hopefully will compensate for those rope twists, just in case you're not feeling those, those butts. Let's make sure that we don't have any planks, or don't have any valleys, or mountains is what I meant. Whew. All right, guys, we're almost there. Three. Two, one, wherever you are, put those knees down. Great job. We're coming back to those rope twists. So again, set that stance, feet underneath hips, maybe a little wider, hands go out, one arm goes back, one arm goes forward. And then just swap. There we go. You also don't really have to pretend like you're holding a rope, but I think it's kind of fun making some C shapes with your hands. So all we're doing is squeezing once we get to that position that we can't rotate any farther. Ooh, I'm starting to feel this a little bit in my shoulders. Hopefully you are as well. Knees have a nice micro bend. Just making sure that they're not locked. Ooh, there's lots of yard work going on around my house, apparently. It's also a rainy day, that's why the lighting is so, not so good. <laughs> all right guys, five seconds, let's do this. Brace that core. Ooh. Two, one. Oh, maybe a little arm circle, maybe a nice shoulder stretch. Let's come to our plie squats. 
So again, setting that stance a little wider, toes pointed outwards, hands on hips if you'd like them. I don't know, I just find, I don't do hands on my hips for my squats, but I find it helps keep me upright in these plie squats. And if you want, you can also experiment, maybe go a little bit wider with those feet. Sometimes that might feel a little bit better for you. Maybe a little bit narrower for me, not so much. <laughs> so just playing around with this, that's why this class is so wonderful because it gives you the flexibility to really play around with some moves, teach you moves you can incorporate in your own personal workouts, and also just gives you the option to do whatever you're feeling on a specific day, right? You could do this same workout today and say, oh, I love it so much, do it tomorrow. It feels completely different, you need to take completely different options. So, all right guys, back to those plank extensions. Let's set our plank first. All right, and let's start by walking it out. Once you feel that shake, keep that butt down and walk it right back in. If you'd like, you can try this on your forearms. It's just gonna feel a little bit different, but if your wrists, you have wrist sensitive wrists, that's a good option maybe. Or maybe try it on gorilla fists as well, just where you just put your fists down to the mat and support yourself with those thumbs. So that little shake, guys, that's your transverse abdominals telling you that you are working hard. And that's a great feeling, a great realization. Two, one, knees down. All right, you guys, amazing job. We've got one last round through this. Let's get those shoulder twists. Again, think about how you're gonna challenge yourself, whether that's with reps, whether that's with, you know, really contracting those muscles, lots of different ways. Ready, go. So one arm goes back, one arm goes forward, and then we just swap. So look down, make sure that those feet are nice and set, nice micro bend in those knees. We're not locking out. And if you'd like, again, you can turn to the side, making sure we're tucking that pelvis underneath us. That's gonna help us engage those abdominal muscles, support our lower back, which is really important in a standing move like this. Hopefully I've said this enough, but I so appreciate you guys coming Saturday at noon. I know it's kind of an awkward time, but I know I really appreciate it. Your bodies really appreciate it. So. All right, woo, ouch. Good job, we've got our plie squats. So set that stance for the last time. Hands wherever you'd like them. You can also have them here, fast in front of you, and let's begin. So it's really easy, especially if we're really used to squatting and not so much doing our regular, not so much doing these plie squats. Just remembering those panes of glass, making sure that we're not tipping it back, at least not like we would in a squat. We're feeling it, just a little bit more of a stretch through our inner thighs, and then also squeezing a little bit more through those inner thighs as we raise up. So I really want us to press with those inner thighs, press with the insides of those feet on the way up, Squeeze those glutes. We are working our glutes just a little bit as well. Whew. I feel like ballerinas here. Last one here, guys. Amazing job. All right, we've got that last plank extension. Take that option if you need it that I demonstrated last time. This is our last time through. Let's see if we can get just a couple more reps in. Maybe holding to that shake. Just a little bit more in the extended period. Just holding here, maybe for a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see me shaking, but man, it is happening. <laughs> so little walks. Good job, guys. That's halfway. Keep it up. See how many you can get done in this last little period. Three, two, one. Amazing. All right, we've got our last cardio move and we're cooling it down after. So for this one, guys, we're starting in a squat. We press out, in, and as we go out, we drop. All right, just like that. Ready, set, go. Out, in, drop. Alternating on those drops. So kind of like a, um, a drop squat, a jumping squat 
but we're adding a little extra move as we do that heel click. If you'd like to just bring it into a squat, that's fine. Um, or if you don't want to jump, we can also just be tapping. Great option here. Making sure if you can't touch that floor, that is totally fine. I would rather that our butt is back and down rather than our chest. Last one here. Great job. Woo. All right, guys. If you're listening to my Spotify playlist, I know I send it out a little bit late, but listen to those last, pick one of the last two songs on the playlist, and let's go ahead. Let's just meet me in a nice laying position on the ground, all right? So laying on your back, legs extended past you, arms extended overhead, stretching to that core, just breathing here. I know I gotta catch my breath, I always do during the cool down. <laughs> so let's take three nice big breaths together. So inhale for three, two, one, and exhale for three, two, one. All right guys, and another inhale for three, two, one, and an exhale for three, two, one, and last one. Inhale, three, two, one, and exhale, three, two, one. Amazing job. All right, so what we're gonna do here is stretch through our legs a little bit. So let's bring one of our legs up to our chest, times it. Great, we've got some good time. All right, so just extending one of those legs long and bringing that other one in towards our chest, we're gonna get a nice spinal twist, all right? So we're gonna place one of, um, our hands on the outside of our knee and press it over our body for a nice big twist. Bringing that hand that's not on our knee out and follow it up into a T and following our gaze to that hand. So basically our entire body is engaged in this nice big twist. Taking a few breaths here. You guys did awesome today. Amazing jobs. A lot of those moves were not not very easy, so I am super, super impressed. All right, guys, let's bring that knee back into that chest, and then extend that leg up to the ceiling for a nice big hamstring stretch, pressing those hips into the floor, pressing those shoulder blades into the floor. I want to make sure that the stretch is really coming through that hamstring, making sure we're not grabbing directly over that knee. It's either below or above it, flexing that foot. All right, hug that knee back in nice and tight, and let's switch it up. So extending hips, that leg nice and long, and swapping which leg is hugged in towards us. And again, getting that nice big spinal twist by bringing that hand to the outside of our knee, pressing it over our body, bringing that opposite hand out to a T, and following our gaze over there, which I'm not gonna do so you guys can still hear me, but getting that nice full body twist. Whew. This side is feeling a little bit more than the other. <laughs> and again, just breathing here. All right, guys, go ahead and bring this leg back in towards our chest. And we'll extend that leg up to the ceiling, pressing those hips into the mat, pressing those shoulder blades into the mat, and just tugging on that hamstring just a little bit. Ooh, this one is also real tight. Apparently my left side is just tight today. Breathing through here. All right, guys. Bring that knee back into your chest. Bring the other one up to meet it. And we're just gonna rock forward up into a standing position, just like this. And when you meet, meet me in standing, and when you can, extend one arm out, bring that opposite leg up. Uh, shoelaces in your palm knees together for a nice big quad stretch. Pressing those hips forward. You need a little extra. And if you need more, you can also bring that other hand behind you, grabbing both of those, grabbing that foot with both your hands. That's the, those are the words. <laughs> All right, guys, let's swap it up. So other hand goes out for balance, bringing that other shoelace to palm, knees together, pressing forward. And if you grab with both hands on the other side, go ahead and do it on this side as well. Getting a nice quad stretch and also feeling it a little bit in that hip flexor right here. Awesome, awesome job. All right, here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do a nice big shoulder stretch to so bringing one arm across our body, 
grabbing it either above um, or below our elbow joint or above it, it doesn't really matter which one, just making sure not to grab on top of that elbow. So a nice micro bend in those knees. Opening up, swapping it up. Still just breathing. If you're listening to those cool down songs, maybe swaying a little bit, enjoying them. <laughs> I miss cooling down to music. <laughs> All right, guys, and we'll end with a nice chest and back stretch. So for this one, let's pretend like we've got a nice big tree in front of us. We're just gonna hug it, round into that back, feeling those shoulder blades separate. This is nice. We did a lot of back work today. Those cobras and a little bit with those chest flies as well. All right, and the opposite. Pretend there's a nice big tree behind us. Stretch and round through those, that chest. All right, guys, and bring those hands out in front of you. Give yourselves a nice big round of applause. You guys rocked it.